Welcome to Alton's Money Minute. In a previous video, we talked about RMDs, and a question that has come up since is, how can I minimize the impact of taxes when I have to start taking my RMDs? So, RMDs, required minimum distributions, basically mean that you have to take a seven and a half money out of your qualified plans, out of your IRAs, etc., mm -hmm. which typically causes a taxable situation, typically, again, um, because it's coming out of a pre-tax account where the IRS now expects you to pay taxes. Jason, talk to us about a strategy that can potentially minimize the tax impact when you have to start putting yourself in that position. Yeah, absolutely. So. So normally when you take your RMD, like you said, you have to pay income taxes mm -hmm. on, on the amount that you have to take out, right? right. Or any, any amount that you take out of an IRA or a 401k. Right. So instead of, um, you, you know, one strategy you could use is when you take your RMD, instead of taking it out and to just receive it or take it and put it in your checking account, you could take that RMD and put it directly into a charitable organization, mm -hmm. okay? This is called a qualified re uh, charitable distribution, right. okay? so. When you do that, you don't have to pay the income taxes on that amount. So, to, but go a little further and explain, you know, why that's important now that with the new tax law change as well. Well, typically this was very helpful when you give to charity. You get to itemize that um, and deduct that, hopefully, depending on your tax bracket, uh, from your tax situation. But now that the new tax laws increase the deduction, mm -hmm. okay, up to twenty-four thousand dollars most people will not be itemizing. Yeah. Okay, statistically speaking, it's a very high percentage that will not be itemizing anymore. But you can still take the strategy that you just mentioned of doing the QCD, the Qualified Charitable Distribution. Right. And the key is that you don't actually receive the money. It has to go from your account directly to yeah. the charity. Okay, again, if you're charity, Charity minded, minded yeah. um, this makes a lot of sense because you can have that money go there directly. You you satisfy the RMD yeah. and you don't get taxed on that money. Yeah. So that's why this year it could make a lot of sense. It, you still could do that before, but now when if you're not going to be itemizing, this could make even a lot more sense. Yeah, and this could really make sense for someone who, like you said, is charitably minded. But let's, let's just say, for example, you go to church, you normally give money to your church, mm -hmm. and you normally give that out of your you know your pocketbook. Right. All right. So instead of doing that, divert your money that would you would take from your RMD. Right. to your church or, or, or your charitable you know, organization, right. and then you, know, you keep the money in your pocketbook. So you're still giving the same amount, right. potentially, but at the same time, now you're reducing your taxes. That's right. Yeah. So we hope this helps, and we hope to see you soon.